Farmer's Market, me and Dallas, where she goes, Marceline, sorry, before she goes to work. I'm still trying to get used to that, guys. It's really hard. I knew her for 12 years before she changed her name. Sitting here refreshed with this uh, delicious concoction. Basically, it's orange, lime, l uh, lemon, and cherry. Yep. It's uh, with some, some water, maybe sugar water, I'm not sure. You see her over there. It's like an assembly line of awesome. Oh, yeah, you see her there squeezing them out right now. It's pretty awesome. You get like, uh, what is it? You get, you get lemon, lime, or, orange, or all three. Yeah, so with this one, it's a one whole orange, a half a lemon, and a whole lime. And it's fantastic. It's so refreshing, and it's all natural sugars. You don't feel like weeded down because it's really hot and humid out here. Really hot and humid. It's going to be like 100 degrees because of humidity today. Uh, it's going to suck. And if you guys followed us on Twitter, which I always put down in the description, uh, you'd see what kind of day we're having, like all of our beautiful, all of the beautiful herbs and even some of this. Oh yeah, we picked up some nice stuff. I'm making some uh, cold cucumber soup tonight for uh, family dinner, as well as if I can find I'm going to get some bitter melon. Goya, Goya. Goya. Oh, yeah. Bitter melon uh, salad. It's going to be good. It's going to be a vegetarian type night, huh? I guess so. Oh no, she, uh, Sissy's making a uh, borscht with beef. But is she making it with beef? Because Keenan's coming, I think. We got a vegetarian night, it'd be good for us. Yeah, that's true. I'm gonna sneak a steak in there somewhere. So it's after work, and my hair is really hella cool. If you didn't see it earlier at the, uh, the farmer's market. Uh, it's just been a really weird day. You know, our social medias have been flooded with the tragedy in Orlando and I just wanted to take a moment to I wanted to take a moment to give my condolences and to stay strong with the uh, family loved ones and victims of this heinous event um, and I want everybody who is attending Pride or going to be attending Pride especially in the major cities to be safe because I don't think this is just going to be a one-time thing. This, there are more reports of a gunman heading to the LA Pride that was stopped. And that's scary as fuck. Like, New York Pride is about to happen and just be safe. What the hell is this? Bitter melon. Oh. Weird. Yeah, that's good. Oh, sorry guys, here's your daily dose of trypophobia. <laughs> sorry. Bitter melon. One of the things you need to do is always remove the white stuff because it adds extra extra bitterness. But my friend here, Keenan here, says he wants to try it with it. It's sorry, Keenan. Cucumber. Texture's off, isn't it? Yeah. Spongy? Oh. That's not good. That's not good <laughs> Can you describe it? Bitter. Not in a good way. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Uh, All right. Uh, <laughs> get, get eat a macaroon or drink some water. It'll help. Ah, uh, no. It's gonna deal with it. Yeah. So this is why we boil the um, in some salt water help get the bitterness out. It's still gonna be bitter as all get out, but it's gonna have a nice flavor to it to complement the bitterness. Aftertaste. Yeah, that's what's worse. Worst part. Yeah, I've I've eaten the white pith before. It's like uh, worse than a grapefruit pith. Right? Yeah. Hey. No idea. This looks fantastic. It's Goya water. <laughs> it's salted Goya water. You know, that's a, uh, they actually drink that in um, Korea and some of the uh, so Southeast countries for, in the summer for. Actually no, they drink it because it helps them um, with the heat. Goya is considered a, um, uh, look at me. It's considered a cooling fruit, a uh, vegetable. It's me! It's me! We're playing lunch again.